Hello, Malcolm, and hello, everyone else. Welcome to episode three of Subnautica. We are returning to the seas of this alien world, which are so pretty. Really so pretty. Kudos to the developers of this game for making a really gorgeous environment, something fun to explore. Today, um, well, we've had a little bit of success catching fish and generally mucking around. But we haven't discovered anything crucial. We've gathered up quite a lot of titanium and glass. And today I thought I would use some of the titanium and glass that we've gathered up. <coughs> if this thing ever loads, mind you. I started the recording at a point I figured it would be pretty close to the load-in. But uh, it's going to take its time. That's okay, it's worth the wait. It's a pleasure. Um, I've taken some extreme measures to deal with my frame rate drop in my recordings here. I think it might be that my hardware is not up to par. But, I mean, still, I'm, I'm running a pretty serious uh, set of gear. Oh, I'm getting some bad frames now. Okay, now we're all smooth. Okay, we're gonna cook this guy. It always says new creature discovered, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so we can make some water. We've got some air sacs. Let's do that. Always good to have the water. And let's cook this peeper. And that's about it. Okay, so what we really want to do is find out how to make our survival knife. So... where is it? Man, there's so much to make. So much to make. Tools. Oh, come on, there it is. So it needs titanium and silicone rubber. Now we've got titanium. To get silicone rubber... We need creep vine seed cluster times two. So today's mission will be to try to find said creep vine cluster. Um, we're just going to pop in here, see if we've got what it takes to make. Uh, uh, we don't. We're going to have to go to one of our storage containers. We're carrying a lot of water. We're going to drink one right now. Uh, we're not hungry enough to eat, but we've got a cooked peeper. Yeah, food plus 31. It's a bit more than we need at this second. We're going to go to one of our other storage containers that we have outside here. Uh, I mean, really, like, sad and tiny development, frankly. Oh, come on now. No, I don't want to pick it up. I want to get up here. Oh, they make this tricky, do they? No, 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 no. Now it's moved, of course. Okay, well, it's down. We'll get at it, eh? Okay, so we need some glass and we need some titanium. It doesn't look like this one has those things. I mean, it has titanium ingots, but we need pieces of titanium. So we're going to swim over to the other one here. And just pop it open. Oh, uh, we've got glass. Hmm. Now... That's not enough titanium, and I don't know how to use the, uh... Oh. No, that's not what I want. Uh, we are now hurt. Let's stick this little rat onto there. Oh, we must have knocked the floater off our locker. Oh my god, we'll have to find it in the daylight. That's great, that's great. You know, mission oxygen tank is just going great so far, everyone. We're injured. We don't have what we need. Uh, we're going to pop in here. Yeah. We do have a couple of titanium in here, so... 
Yeah, let's see what it make, takes to make that uh, tank. New, 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 new. Oh, we can. So we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a new tank. And that gives us a little boost to our oxygen, not as much as I might have liked. Um, yeah. Hope the frame rates are working for you guys. Uh, we'll see when the recording comes out. I can't tell till it's done. I, I'm not enjoying 120 frames per second or anything here, but uh, it's it's running nicely for me. It's running smoothly, so I'm really hoping that's translating over to the recording. My mouse work is pretty notchy. My mouse is a real piece of El Yonko. Now I don't know why that floater bounces right now, and I don't know why it injured me. So we're going to. Uh, that's our sunken container. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get injured again and take that little jerk. And where's our sunken container? Help, help, help. I don't seem to be spotting it. I just want to stick a floater on it. Uh, where's our base? There's our base. You'd think it would be somewhere real close to here, wouldn't you? Oh, there's all sorts of snorty sounds going on around. Oh, it's dawn. Uh, I think we're going to end up sticking this floater on the hull of here. Oh, uh, yeah, we did. We did so. Oh, there's our... Now that it's daylight, we can see it. No, we saw it. Now it's gone. There it is. I'm gonna go stick the floater on that, keep it above water. So. Yeah, that should do the job. We do have good dive endurance now, so we are gonna go afield a bit. Uh, I think we're gonna eat our old cooked peeper. Chow that down. And we're gonna snog down a water. Okay. And we're gonna set off with the aim of finding some salt deposits and maybe some of this creep vine you know I'm, I'm, I'm game to try for some new stuff here and of course me being who I am it's always new to me I've probably been here a hundred times but it's always new to me oh we got loads of oxygen let's cruise around what's that little thing? It. Oh, it's getting away, whatever it is. It's full getting away. We should be keeping an eye out for deposits and stuff like that. Now, we noticed a dangerous looking animal in the deeper water, so... Oh, we don't have to go up. So we're gonna, you know, try to avoid the deeper water as such. Grab that. Now, how do we put him in our thing? There's got to be a way to put him away. Uh, do I do th Ah, gotcha. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Because, yeah, I've been carrying fish around in my hand a lot, and uh, it doesn't seem quite right that I should do that. Okay, let's that, let's that big oxygen thing recharge and head back down. We really need to find some stuff. I, I don't know what these creep vines look like at all. That's a cluster of boomerang fish, isn't it? It's neat how they do that. They just get all into a bunch. Crazy. But then you can't pick them up till they disperse, it seems like. Uh, well, well. To continue observing that phenomenon. Gonna head around through here. And we're gonna head over into this slightly deeper area here. We could be about to lose our life for the first time. We haven't died yet in this game. But uh, 62 meters underwater, you can't expect to be uh, safe. Better watch that oxygen. A lot of things are blocked here. It seems like if we had a tool, we could enter. So. I'm just going to resurface right now. I know it's a bit early, but uh, it's a long way up. So I think I will just do that, and then we'll dive straight back down and keep having a look. 
really hoping to get some, well, maybe not new resources, but I sure would like to find one of those creep vine things. Okay, our oxygen's full. We're heading straight back down. Little bug flying around my desk lamp here, irritating little thing. I've got some chicken in the oven and some potatoes in the oven with it. And I've got, uh, well, I went and picked up some Brussels sprouts for something green to eat. Because I love Brussels sprouts. I'll tell you, I love Brussels sprouts. They are so good. You can dig the sand everywhere. Okay, there's that schmanky looking nasty freak. We're just going to go back this way. Maybe we should have grabbed that quartz. Just, what's this? Uh, I can't seem to interact with it. So that, I don't know. That's confusing. Still got some O2. Let's, let's keep having a look on. Got some titanium. Really was hoping for a bit more, but, uh, you know. Early days here, I don't know much about the game. And at least we're alive. And we picked up a banana fish there, so something to eat. Should probably hunt up a few more fish. Our hunger will go down on us. There, grabbed another one. Okay, we're gonna head straight to the what? Radiation detected? I'm trying to head the opposite way of the radiation. Wow, that's not nice at all. I must have been heading over to the uh, wreck. Wow, we really used up our O2 that time. Let's look in that. Oh, yeah, we're close to the wreck. Let's look in that inventory right now. It's not a very impressive haul. Well, let's try and strike out the other way from the ship here. So we don't end up going over to the radiation hull. Let's, uh, wow, just everything, the water effects, everything. Occasionally I'm getting a little notchiness here. It's like, jerk, jerk. But for the most part it's running beautifully. And I am just so impressed by the way it looks and the way it plays. It's a pleasant feeling to be here in the game. And they don't, oh it's those, but there's treasures, so let's try to get close. Oh no, they got me. Whatever they are. Oh, they took me down to 56. Like, what? Wow, that's not nice of them. We'll get this metal fragment and maybe an air sack or two. That was nasty. We got shrecked. They do, obviously, pretty variable damage. Catching these air sacks reminds me of the video game Hadron. I don't know if any of you are old enough or anything to have uh, ever played Hadron. Oh, that looks interesting. Let's go up. Oh, radiation detected. Oh, poo on a stick. How do we get away from it? Oh no, our health! We've got to swim this way as quick as we can. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh, we just lost our life. Oh, I'm so bummed, you guys. So bummed. Pretty much a reload. Oh, you guys, I feel like I've let you down pretty harshly. Our food's at 50%. Well, that's not cool. Oh, and we just gotten some air sacs and everything. Hey, eh? you know, we were doing so well. We were doing so well. Hello, big walrus doodler. Let's catch ourselves some fish. We gotta eat, and them peepers is fine eating. Got that one. Put them away. Let's get a boomerang fish for extra taste. Got that one. Put them away. Oh, I don't want to keep that peeper out. Uh, let's grab two boomerang fish because they're here. And let's head down and just look around a bit. Ah, I got smutched there, man. That was terrible. That was terrible. I I did a bad job, you guys. I'm sorry about the low-grade play there. Let's catch a peeper. 
Hey, is that creep fine? No, it's writhing weed. Really needs some of that creep vine stuff, you know? Like, not on the lookout. That peeper's gonna lead us into trouble, I can tell you right now. He's 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 got a roving eye. Oh, I got a bit of lag there. Yeah, he's got the roving eye. Man, he's fast. We are going to chase him down. Come here, little guy. Quit out accelerating me like a Ah better surface and we better go we really need some air sacs but we can get those so we've had a setback and no mistake definitely a setback and no mistake um, new discovered. I don't know why it's always telling me those are new creatures they're not yeah I can't make any water let's make a cooked peeper Make a cook boomerang. We're gonna eat all this stuff right now. We're just gonna mow on these fish just to the harshest possible extent. So we're cooking them off using a little electric energy from our tasty factory. And we're gonna eat those guys. We're just eating it all. That was really tasty. Brought us right up to power. Um, you know, I'm gonna just save game here, seriously. Okay, we gotta head away from the thing. So, this way. And we'll head down and see what we can find. I'm holding out a little less hope about, uh, succeeding in getting the creep vine and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of sand digging. Uh, I, I assume that you must find some good things that way. Okay, here's a little gallery area. And I, again, I'm sure we've swum here before, but I'm not a very good explorer, so it's quite likely that... Uh, oh, we got that crickly crack in the sound again. It's quite likely that I will have uh, failed to explore this area completely. Always something new when you're playing with Peter the way I am. It's, it's surprised by the same clump of grass every morning. Okay, we don't need any of those guys. We've got to watch our air thing here. But we got, this. got some uh, copper there. That's not bad. Oh, we got some more outcrops here. So. A little titanium. And, you know, it's great and we're going to need it. And there's more copper. And I'm sure the copper is going to become hyper important at some point. But, uh, Right now, I'm more hot for salt, and I really want to find out what these creeper vines are. Okay, we're going to recharge our oxygen here, and we're just going to sight on everything. Where's our pod? There it is. Okay, let's keep over this way. Yeah, this looks doable. Hey, these are vines, right? Let's grab this big fella. Oh, look, you got away. And what's this down here? It's a dark box. Mobile vehicle bay fragments. So, I don't know if those are things you can collect later. Oh, that doesn't look friendly. I think we need to probably avoid the snags out of that. Uh, yeah, okay, we're getting out of here. I think I got two. I think I got two. So I think we can make our thing. That thing looked like some kind of a Lasmosaurus. It was going to fronk us, basically. So pretty glad to swim back the other way. Bioreactor fragment. Salvage. Okay, well, we'll just keep on... Keep on keeping on. Maybe we'll try to catch a fish on the way home. We really could use a hydro sack, actually. Um, tell you the truth because uh, while we still have some water left that stuff is not endless there's a hydro sack okay we're on 57 air we're gonna go after that guy oh no you don't oh no oh no oh no hydron Do -do 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 -do. hydron it's just as hard as bloody hydron come on 
Okay, we at least got that. We better head up for some air fast. That was a tough, tough hunt for that guy. Now, I don't think we're too far from our pod. Let's try to find the indicator on it. Love this music. So we'll head down. Uh, we got another air sack on our hands here, so we're gonna try to intercept him. So we got some creep vine, and yeah, okay, it was hazardous to get the creep vine. We, we really hustled ourselves there and uh, did what we could. So we're going to try to catch a banana fish or something, something like that on the way home. You know, just something to fry up and eat. There's got to be something around here to fry up and eat. Hey, we got ourselves an outcropping, copper ore. We got ourselves a totally freaky unexplored area that's really disturbing. This is cool. Look at this. Oh, this is so awesome, man. I love the way this game looks. And I, I gotta say, I like the concept and I like the gameplay too. I, the whole thing is, is great. It's a nice game. Good job. Basically, good job. Now, we want to catch ourselves some kind of dinner. Let's go up and get some air. The sun is setting. We've got a... We don't want to eat our dried fish or whatever, so let's see if we can't nail some kind of creature. Just anything, man. Anything. Like food plus 12 or whatever these little guys are. Got him. Okay, let's head to the pods. Night's coming, so... We definitely want to get to our pod here and get in quickly. And we're going to try to do a couple things with our fabricator here. So, uh, resources. Basic materials. We can make some silicone rubber. So we made a big tube of rubber. We can make another thing of glass. We'll do that up. Why not? And... Okay, fine. Oh, that comes out of the salvage. Alright. We're going to have to put this in our storage stuff for sure. But, uh, yeah, let's just burn down our power here and make a bunch of stuff. We will get that into the storage. Um, sustenance. Let's get some water made. Uh, I don't know if we're going to run out of inventory here. I kind of, I think I better pull out and take a look. No, we're good. We're good. So, sustenance. We're going to make some uh, cooked boomerang. That's all we've got to eat. We didn't really hunt too well today. Uh, so, personal equipment. Uh, I don't want to make an O2 tank. What I want to make is a uh, survival. Oh, nice. The knife has been an essential tool of the human race for approximately two and a half million years. It is recommended that you look after this one. I'm down. I'm totally down. That's cool. So we're going to probably be okay for the night. Oh, so we could make a beacon and another locker. So why don't we bang up a locker? Um, why don't we get out of this thing, go in here, and transfer some stuff over. So, let's transfer over this raw titanium, let's transfer over these copper wire. Uh, we'll eat that in a second. Uh, how much does it give you? 20? Yeah, we'll eat that in just a second. We're going to save our game right here. Gosh. So today we died for the first time. That was a little freaky. A little disturbing. So we need to deploy our waterproof locker with a floater. And here we got a floater. So let's grab out that. Right click drop. Let's pick up our... Ah! I'm all spanky. Okay, that one's already got one on it. Um, disoriented. Good thing we got that extra oxygen, you know. I swear I had a floater stuck on here for spares. -y. But I'm not seeing it, nor am I seeing my new locker. Uh, 
There's the floater. Grab that. Now let's try to find that locker. Put that away. Ah, there we got our knife. That's nice. Let's put that away. Uh, we might have to wait till morning to find the locker. Oh, uh, no, that looks like it right there. Yeah, so we'll get out two. Did it go on there? I'm not really 100% sure that went on there. But we're going to go with that. Uh, we really could use something to eat. Wow, there's some interesting stuff down here at night. We really could use something to eat, and I think we'd better go try to get something to eat. We're basically just going to swim till we find food. Uh, we don't want to end up heading towards the wreck. And there's probably more dangerous stuff out at night. Wouldn't be surprised, so... Uh, let's get out that night. There, you use the right click to slanky with it. Okay, we just need ourselves a fish. That's all. Looks like the sea's cleared out at night, eh? Full on. Okay, what do we got here? Looks like some peepers. Let's put away that knife. Looks like we got some peepers. A couple of those will make a decent dinner for us. So if we can get those, I'll call us lucky. Oh, it's done already. Well, little fishy. Dive all you want, buddy. You're mine. Yeah, we're definitely going to get fed up on at least a couple of these guys. And I'd be pretty happy if we could find an air sac, too. See, that doesn't look like a peeper. Is it a peeper? Certainly. No, yeah, I picked up peeper. Put that away. I'd uh, love to get an air sac, too we could use to make some more water. It's a it's a game of constant struggle. It's you against the fishes. It's you against the fishes. And against the fishes we're doing alright. And there we got an air sack. Nice. Got him grabbed up. Okay, I'm gonna call that pretty good. Um, get back to our pod here. Well, let's just, you know, if we see another air sack or something, then we're definitely going to go after it. Not going to take a big peeper run. Uh, looks like I didn't get the floater on that third jugular there. So I better try to just grab that floater. And dive down while I got some light to work with. And here we go. So. That looks good. I think we're set. I can smell my chicken cooking. I've also got some uh, mushrooms and onions in a pan on super low, so I'm going to have to definitely go take a look at that stuff in a minute. Just wanted to get that little notch further ahead today, and I think we did well for ourselves. Okay, this trip we didn't pick anything up at all, but uh, we're going to make some water. So that's nice, because we're right down to 55%. And we're going to cook off a peeper. Wow, we're really low on water. That's dreadful. So, uh, what else have we got in our stuff here? Some glass. Basically some stuff to... Uh, oh, hey, we've got more food to cook. Let's get on that. Silly me. Because you get a little water out of these little guys, you know? There's nothing wrong with chowing them. And they uh, don't keep... So we're not finding a lot of salt. Okay, we're going to get out to our new storage pod. Uh, I'm wondering if it's this one. <laughs> Having a hard time with them. No, that one's full of stuff. Good to know there's some water in there. That was smart thinking, eh? Okay, this one's pretty empty, so we're going to put some stuff in here. Put that in there. We'll put a couple of these waters in there. And we'll put one of our cured peepers in there. Why not, eh? Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. 
we're going to uh, go ahead and eat that and eat that and eat that and then we're going to drink that and we're going to drink that then we're going to take these two water back because I think we're going to need them and we're going to head back to our little pod here back to our little safety place I just yeah I cannot get over how pretty and how much there is to do like you head out and you're doing stuff you're you're doing stuff right away anyway okay there we go we got our little empire of storage containers probably gonna have another twenty of those before I go much further right eh? and we're gonna leave you guys here with this lovely view of the moon in the daytime here on this planet it's a beautiful place we're gonna save our game and I hope you guys are having a good day night morning whatever it is you're doing better than the crew of the Aurora or whatever her name was at least we're here and at least we've got fish so until next time bye for now